What's up everybody, welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Well, I put up a post on Instagram and it was about the JLo video, the JLo 10 day challenge. And I put very clearly in the post, I said, if you're gonna argue with me, I'm gonna delete you, I'm gonna block you. Cause I'm not here to argue, I'm here to tell you that you should be able to do anything for 10 days. If you feel like you shouldn't, you have a problem. You are weak minded, you have no willpower. Maybe you're just an idiot, whatever the case may be, but you should be able to do anything for 10 days. If you can't, you need to check yourself, period. That's all there is to it. And give a fuck what anybody says if they don't like it, too bad. That's life. It's just how it is. And I think that, um, you know, most people, they got it. You know, most people understood, but you always get that person, right? Of course, this fucking guy comes on there. And every time somebody wants to argue, they have like less than like 150 followers in a closed page. I don't understand what this number is like like how why it's like never over 150 followers and it's always a closed page so you can never see who these fucking people are but anyways and there was another guy on there that actually had an open page that was fucking talking some shit he started citing studies and shit right and i was like here we go with the arguments now i'm gonna fucking because this is my channel and i can say what the fuck i want if you don't like it, you just don't tune in so my rebuttal to these guys were about how carbohydrates are um, you're needed, you have to have carbohydrates. First of all, carbohydrates are non-essential, which means your body does not need that. We know for a fact, carbohydrates are non-essential. Unlike the other two macronutrients, protein and fats, which are essential. Essential means you need to take them in. You have to take them in, period. Carbs are non-essential, which means they are not needed. If you wanna eat them, fucking eat them, but they're not needed. Stop lying to the world and acting, you know, lying to yourself and rationalizing that you wanna eat fucking candy, so you need them. It's bullshit, you do not need carbs. And, you know, he starts citing these studies and I'm like, you realize that before a study ever existed, there was a caveman, okay, where we were fucking, you know, created from. And what we were created from, we had some fruits and vegetables and stuff like that that were hanging on trees, but we didn't have all these complex carbs and shit we grew. None of that fucking happened. We did that later on as we evolved and learned how to farm. So fruits and vegetables were very scarce in a lot of places in the world and they didn't have access to them, but they had access to meat. And the way that the human body is set up was for fats and proteins to be essential, need to be taken in and utilized. And if there's some carbs, cool, but they're not needed. Our bodies were set up to survive without carbohydrates, period. That is how it is. There is no arguing it. And then what happens is later on, the farming industry comes along. We learn how to grow all this food. And now there's all these studies on carbohydrates because they're more plentiful. They make the carbohydrates easier. Well, I don't say easier, but they're cheaper there are more abundance in meats and fats, and that's kind of how that's pushed. It has nothing to do with whether or not it's essential or non-essential. And it blows my fucking mind. I'm like, how the fuck could you possibly look at a fucking caveman and say, we evolved from caveman to where we are now, and they had very limited, if any, carbohydrates for long periods of time, and they didn't fucking die off. You know why? Because it's not essential. And I think that a lot of people get wrapped up in the little bit that they know and the basics that they know. And there's nothing more basic than a caveman being alive, not needing carbohydrate. That's below fucking, that's even before these studies happen, before fucking humans could even comprehend what the fuck carbs, proteins, and fats were. They were just eating whatever they thought was food. I'm sure they ate shit that wasn't food, thinking it was food, because they didn't fucking understand. But another thing that really blows my mind is people don't realize that carbohydrates, when they're ingested, there is something that is essential in your body that is 100% needed, that is required, needed and required, same, same thing, but I have to put this every fucking way so people understand it, that without these essential nutrients, you cannot digest carbohydrates. Okay, now fats is the opposite way. You need the fat to digest the fat-soluble vitamins. However, in the, the, the form of carbohydrates, you need the vitamins to digest the carbohydrates. It's the opposite way around because it's not essential. It's not essential for your body to have it. Therefore, if you never have another carbohydrate, those vitamins that are needed, they're required for carbohydrate metabolism, get used for other things. They're not used up for that. So you can actually have a shortage of certain vitamins in your body if you're on a high carb diet because your body requires more of those to digest the carbohydrates. Now, what are the vitamins? So I'm just gonna run through this real quick. Vitamin B1, convert carbohydrates to simple sugars such as glucose and galactose. You need vitamin B1, eat foods rich in uh, those vitamins, help you convert the blood sugars into energy, while also building, ensuring that your nervous system functions properly and optimally, since you require a properly functioning nervous system for efe efficient communication between your brain, body, and organs, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so vitamin B1, one of the very important vitamins that you need in order to digest carbohydrates, right? Uh, B2 and B3, riboflavin and niacin from leafy green vegetables, such as cabbage, these two vitamins help break down the carbohydrates into absorbable products, processing their calories. 
This happens before absorption to ensure that you obtain maximum energy by metabolizing them. Niacin also supports the digestive system by ensuring that almost all carbohydrates are broken down. Okay, niacin is responsible for making sure that almost all carbohydrates are broken down. How many of you out there who are big carb eaters ever thought about making sure that you had enough niacin in your diet? I'm willing to bet right now, zero. I'm willing to bet everybody watching this right now has no fucking clue what I'm talking about. And these are facts that nobody talks about out there because why? They're so dumbed down to carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, and then they dumb it down even more to calories. Then they say dumb shit like carbohydrates are needed. Like, there's so much dumb shit out there that the truth is getting lost. Um, pantothenic, and pantothenic acid and peroxidine acid are the respective names for vitamins B5 and B6. You need vitamin B5 to break down all essential nutrients like carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, which we know, we know that anyways, um, which is required for cell metabolism. Um, tells you what foods to eat, etc. You need a healthy nervous system to, to enable carbohydrate breaking enzymes such as um, amylase and cellulase to be secreted once they are present in the um, elementary canal. Um, it tells you what foods, etc. But basically it says that um, the presence of these carbohydrates in your body and to stimulate the production of enzymes that will break down the carbohydrates for you. That's what these vitamins help you do. Vitamin B9 and B12. Create a fresh medium for a carbohydrate breakdown for your body consuming um, foods rich in vitamin B9. Responsible for production of new cells where carbohydrates are broken down to produce energy. Um, B9 and B12 are also known as folic acid and cobalamin. Cobalamin. I can never say this word right. Respectively. Um, so they are, explains that you're needed. You're needing these vitamin Bs to break down carbohydrates for, they're essential for carbohydrate metabolism. So here's the deal. If there was something that was essential to our body, it would aid in digestion or buildup of something else. Okay, fats actually aid in hormone production. They actually aid in the digestibility of fat soluble vitamins. Protein is the breakdown of amino acids, which help us retain muscle mass, build muscle mass, hair, skin, nails, repair just about everything on the body, as well as can be used as an energy source. Carbohydrates are the only thing you put in your body that when it goes in there, it basically has one fucking job to give you a little bit of energy and it's faster than a fat or a protein because you'd have to convert the protein to, to glucose before you'd be able to use it. So basically you have two essential, one non-essential. If you remove something that is non-essential, you do not die. You do not fucking suddenly become fucking completely stupid that you can't fucking focus and you sit there and fucking, now you have the IQ of a fucking cue ball. What happens is you fucking go through a shift where your body goes, hey, all that easy carbohydrates not here anymore. What the fuck? What, what else is there? Oh, all the other shit, the stuff that we have that we've been using for fucking 10 million years in abundance, fats. So I'm not preaching keto diet is the fucking way. I'm not preaching no carbs. I'm not preaching high carbs. I'm not preaching low carbs, medium carbs. I'm not preaching anything. I'm trying to tell you guys some fucking information that are facts that people are not going to tell you because they don't understand it. They don't take the time to. They don't think it's important. You know what? Maybe it's not important, but I find it interesting. And me, the type of person that I am, I would rather know how things work to the point, you know, whether or not I apply it to something like, you know, I'm still training. I'm still eating. I'm still eating carbs. Like I don't need to apply that shit to my training because I take a multivitamin, mineral, electrolyte, every single fucking day. Every one of my clients take it and I take one every day and I haven't taken it for years because I understand that all metabolic functions require vitamins and minerals. Without the vitamins and minerals in abundance, you do not have those metabolic functions. Disease happens when you are low on these vitamins and minerals. Your body cannot do what it needs to do without the vitamins and minerals. Those vitamins and minerals being taken in every day are so essential to your health and life in general that if you cut out those vitamins and had a, a diet very low in vitamins over time, you have so many ailments and they don't even understand where they fucking come from because they don't understand that you're so deficient in these, these vitamins because there are tests that test for some vitamins. Other ones show up as they're normal and they're still not in the abundance needed. So you still have weird side effects and weird shit going on. So be aware, guys. Like, I don't... I. I fucking get sick of people rationalizing shit. I get sick of the, the scientific community pointing at studies. Guess what? Cavemen survived for fucking thousands of years without having fucking carbohydrates. Many, many other cultures throughout fucking time have not been able to have rice and oatmeal and fucking gummy bears and all this bullshit. They got along just fine and lived just fine. So to say carbohydrates are needed or are important, they're the least important out of the three macronutrients. They're the least needed. Matter of fact, they're not even needed by the body whatsoever. Let that shit sink in for a minute. Sit on that for a little bit, research this shit yourself, and really pay attention to what I'm saying. When you're plugged in to what everybody else is fucking telling you, you don't think for yourself. When you don't think for yourself, you start to go with what the crowd says. And even if it's bullshit, it becomes reality because you don't know any better. Well, bio training, fucking, you know better. 
You know better from the shit that I tell you, from the things that I'm saying, and the stuff that you can go out there and research on yourself, than it takes a little bit of fucking logic for somebody to mention a caveman that had no fucking carbohydrates, and those fucking cavemen evolved into us. If it was true that we needed carbohydrates, cavemen would have fucking died off and they would have never evolved into fucking anything. We wouldn't be here. Human beings wouldn't be here if we had no carbs from the fucking beginning and our bodies were set up to fucking need them. The bottom line and the truth is, our bodies are not set up to need carbohydrates. They are very easy and utilizable more than fats. However, just because you can put it in your body doesn't mean you need to put it in your body. Doesn't mean you should put it in your body. There are some people that should not eat carbohydrates. There are some people that are fine with them. But the bottom line is, to say that they're needed would be an absolute blatant fucking lie. BioStringTraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. BioString.com is a blog. It's a car bullshit bicep, and we are out.